Well, Paul, thanks for talking to us here on Blues TV. Sitting there with the new title of first team development coach um, and a permanent role as part of the, the manager's backroom staff. Is that something that you're, you're relishing going into the new season? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, working last end of last season when Lee came in um, and spoke to the guys over the summer about what the role would look like. Um, so keen for me to stay on board, which obviously I was keen to do as well. So um, yeah, looking forward to the challenge and hopefully we can continue the, the kind of good success we had at the end of last season. Yeah, you mentioned that, that stint at the end of last season. You come in and, and helped the gaffer out as part of the mm. first team staff. It was a fantastic run of results as well. How yeah. much did you enjoy that on a personal note? Yeah, it was good. It, I think obviously it was a position where um, results were needed quick. We got off to a good start um, and it all kind of like went really fast because of the quick quick fire games that came up and um, the results were great lifted everyone's confidence um, and I think we've got our just rewards really and it quite comfortable in the end um, but yeah a really enjoyable time um, everyone kind of pulled together good good spirit amongst the boys and the staff so yeah really enjoyable time mm -hmm. so how do you see this role panning out now then this going into the new year yeah well speaking to the to the guys really like obviously be be obviously a first team coach on a daily basis and then also be looking after the the younger players within whether that be under 23s coming into the first team um, some of the lads in the first team going and getting game time with under 23s and just kind of continuing the, their their kind of like technical development. Mm -hmm. um, so if they're not playing as many games, I'll be there to put on extra sessions, etc., uh, and try and develop the, the younger players. We've had some some success, a good good academy, um, and I think there's a real push now to to get our own players in around the first team. Mm -hmm. Is that where you probably enjoy your work the most? Out on the grass, putting sessions on, being amongst the lads. Yeah, definitely. I think all coaches are the same. Um, it's it's the best part of the job. Um, working, making people better. Obviously, I've come from kind of like development back all my career, really, for the vast majority has been working under 23s, under 18s. Um, so I'll just continue that alongside work with the senior players, which is, which is great. Is there a big difference? You know, now you're working with some of the senior pros, like you say, you've done mm. 18s and 23s. Is there that big a jump or are they all the uh, same sort of creature? For me personally, not really. No, it's, it's football, it's coaching the football, mm. obviously working under, under the manager to what he wants. Um, I don't see there being a, a big difference. Everyone wants to get better, whether you're 33 or, you know, 21. Everyone's pushing to, for different stages of the career to get better. So anything that myself and the rest of the coaching team can do to help them better and ultimately us better as a team, then then brilliant and yeah, really enjoy it. It's a bit of a new look backroom staff as well. Of course, Mark mm. Kennedy coming in, yeah. Andy Marshall as well. A fantastic week out here for you to strike up those relationships and become that tight knit group mm. that, that the gaffer will need. Yeah, I think think obviously it helps. Like straight away, we've come away um, on on the first day of the preseason, so thrown together. But you know, it, we're all football people and we all can get on. And we're all got you know, you often know similar people and you get talking and. Yeah, it's nice to start talking about what sessions we're going to put on, what it looks like, um, getting everything right, talking about what's coming in the future. Um, so yeah, it's been really good so far and obviously it's just day one now and we've got several days to go over here. And I suppose the bigger picture is that plans can be put in place over these next six weeks, however long, until the start of the season to make sure we're not in that same predicament again with 10 games to go. Yeah, I'm sure that you know, the manager and the, the recruitment team are, are trying to obviously looking at players, etc. So it's early days yet, um, but there's a good feel about the place. I think there's been, obviously been some changes and on, on the coaching side and also above, um, which has given everyone a little bit of a lift, I think. I think you can probably feel that amongst people. So it's, it's almost like a, a fresh start in a way and we've just got to make the most of it and everyone here, every single member of staff is pulling in the same direction so uh, we're all really looking forward to it. Paul, well, thanks for talking to us and all the best in the new role. Thank you.